For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. Hundreds of student protesters disrupted a speaking engagement by conservative gun advocate Kyle Rittenhouse Wednesday night on the University of Memphis campus. Rittenhouse is famous for killing two people in Wisconsin in 2020 when the then 17-year-old carried a rifle into a Black Lives Matter protest. Rittenhouse's appearance on campus was sponsored by a conservative student organization affiliated with Turning Point USA. Early Wednesday, the university abruptly invalidated Turning Point's tickets and instead reissued tickets through its own system. A spokesperson for Turning Point alleged the university was helping protesters reserve tickets to, quote, sabotage the event. Rittenhouse spoke for a few minutes before leaving the stage. Dozens of Tennessee state troopers and local police had to escort event organizers off campus as protesters chased them to the university's parking garage. Students had previously announced their intention to disrupt the event. The Memphis Police Department is making public safety plans in advance of a big weekend downtown. Julia Baker of the Daily Memphian says two homicides, a Beale Street shooting, and a South Memphis Arts District fist fight occurred the weekend before. First and second round games in the NCAA men's basketball tournament will take place at FedEx Forum on Friday and Sunday. In a statement released Tuesday, MPD described enhanced security protocols, including bike and mounted officers, an increased blue suede brigade presence, and additional security screening on Beale Street. The department also asked downtown businesses to expand hours, lighting, and vibrancy efforts. For The Daily Memphian, I'm Julia Baker. The Memphis City Council has revived a decades-long debate about its role over Memphis light, gas, and water. Currently, if the utility wants to hire any new employee with a salary higher than $180,000 or execute a contract more than $250,000, it needs approval from both the MLGW board and the city council. A proposal now before the council would lower those thresholds to $90,000 for salaries and $100,000 for contracts. MLGW President Doug McGowan argued the change would only slow the utility down without substantially increasing the council's oversight. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org.